Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contents 345. Uh, so today we got three medium problems and one easy. So this fourth one is also an uh, medium one, not a hard one. And you'll see that uh, after the description. So it's a, it's sort of, uh, I would say a medium one only, okay? So the problem name is count the number of complete components. So you are given an integer n. There is an undirected graph with n vertices numbered from zero to n minus one. You are given a 2D integer array edges where edges of i equals to ai comma bi that denotes that there exists an undirected edge connecting vertices ai and bi. Okay. Return the number of complete connected components of the graph. Okay. Now what is complete connected component? So first see what is a connected component. So a connected component is a subgraph of a graph in which there exists a path between any two vertices and no vertex of the subgraph shares an edge with a vertex outside of the subgraph, okay? And what is a comp? So a, a, a connected component is said to be complete if there exists an edge between every pair of vertices, okay? So like for example, here you can see a graph. So what is a connected component? Just see, this, this, okay? Here, if you pick a vertex, so you can visit every other vertex, right? It doesn't matter whether that is connected by a direct edge or not, but ultimately these all, uh, can be reached from one another okay these all can be reached from one another however similarly these two can be reached from an one another but these two are not connected similarly these two are not connected these two are not connected right so that's the meaning of connected component okay that is the meaning of connected component now what is a com complete connected component so here just see you have three vertices right so every vertex should have an edge, a direct edge with every other vertex. So just see, zero has an edge with one and two, one has an edge with zero, zero and two, and two has an edge with zero and one. So yes, this is a complete connected component, right? These are connected components and this is complete. What about this? You have only one vertex. So obviously this is a complete connected component. What about this? You have two vertices and they are connected by an edge. Suppose we have something like this okay so this is a connected component but this is not complete why because this vertex is connected by this but not by this okay getting it if we have a direct edge here then it is a complete comp complete connected component right i hope you got uh what's the definition of complete and rather com uh, connected component and complete connected component right so here you can see uh we have some edges zero and one connected zero two connected 1, 2 connected, 3, 4 connected, and then we have 5, right? So just see, uh, we have 3 complete connected components here, hence my answer is 3. Now what about this guy? So just see the edges. This is a graph, okay? Now here again you see all the vertices are connected directly by other vertices through a direct edge. So this is a complete connected component. However, this is not because 5 and 4 are not connected, okay? So your answer will be 1. You have only one complete connected component, right? So uh, this is more of an implementation based problem. I won't say it is a, a standard problem, right? This is a standard problem. We can use DFS, you can use union find any algorithm, which helps you in finding the number of connected components. And then whenever you find a connected component, what you do, you just have to check whether it's complete or not. Okay, I'll show you the implementation, but yeah, the number of edges is 50. So yeah, a brute force approach will work here, like to check whether a uh, a component is basically complete or not, you can apply a brute force and n square loop. Right? I'll, I'll show you that. The number of edges is n into n minus one by two. Obviously edges dot length is two and AI and BI will lie between zero to n minus one, right? So just see what I've done here. I can directly show you the code because, um, and meanwhile I can explain you. So just see, this is my main function. This is the number of uh, vertices I have. These are the edges, okay? Now in this part, what I've done here, this, this part, in this part, uh, I have created an adjacency list, okay? So that whenever I want to check whether two vertices are connected or not, I can check that in O1. I'll show you that. But just see what I've done. These, This is an edge. Now for every edge, what is vertex one? What is vertex two, right? Just see, this is an adjacency list. So this is what it looks like. It's an integer and a set. So every integer has a set, a map of integer and set, okay? Why? Because this integer will tell me that for this vertex, what are the uh, vertices to which I'm directly connected to? Or if this is integer x, what are the integers which have an edge with x? Okay, so that's the main uh, fund of what we are doing. So I just check if this uh, vertex is present in the map or not. If it is not present, I add a hash set. Similarly, for v2, you do that. And then you add the edges, right? Like for example, in v1, add that v1 
also has an edge with v2 and v2 has an edge with v1 this is the main thing what i'm trying to do here right now the next thing is so i am applying a union find algorithm okay uh, I, I hope you are uh, you have some basic knowledge about union find algorithm otherwise i can tell you that in a very brief manner so what happens is suppose you you have a couple of nodes like this okay so every node is assigned a parent okay every node is assigned a parent so if we want to check whether this node sorry this vertex and this vertex are they connected okay are they connected so what we can do we can find the parent of this node so initially every node has a parent that is equals to that only like one has a parent one two has a parent two and so on so one has a parent one two has a parent two now when we connect one and two suppose there is an edge okay and we want to connect that we want to we, we know that okay these two have an edge let's connect them so what we do we change their parent so parent of one is changed to two so what this tells that one has a parent two and two also has a parent two that means they both have the same parent meaning they both are connected they are in the same connected component that's the meaning you can see more details about union fine algorithm on internet but that is the main thing what i've done here so just see every node has a parent any in, i initialize by that i by by i only now for all the edges what i do i connect the edges okay connection is this thing what i was telling you that if there is an edge connect these two so connect vertex one and vertex two what does connect do here uh yeah this is connect just see it checks what is the parent of node a what is the parent of node b if they both do not have the same parent that means they right now they are separated okay let's join them we already have an edge let's join them so parent of b equals to eight parents of b equals to a so this tells that now they both have the same parent right like for example this this something like this you have so if you if there is an edge here what you will do so make this as parent of this anything you can do now if this this node becomes parent of this everything will have the same parent ultimately this node okay getting it so this is how you connect the nodes now what is root so root is simple again it basically finds the parent so we we keep on uh, traversing or calling this recursive function till a equals to parent of a because because what happens for whichever node parent of that node equals to that node itself that means it is the root node of that component getting it because i initialized every node with uh, uh, with itself as its parent one has a parent of one two has a parent of two so when we meet this condition for a particular node we stop we return a and this is what we are doing parent a equals to root of a this is an optimization okay again that's that is not the agenda of this video hence i will not do do that but in short what happens suppose your tree has grown large okay suppose your tree has grown large so whenever you want to find the parent of this you have to traverse some edges so instead of directly connect them directly make uh, th uh, this guy will have uh, this parent right after traversing so why not directly make this as its parent right so what i am trying to say is uh, increase the breadth of the graph uh, instead of increasing the depth of the graph okay that that is an optimization but, but again that is not the agenda of this video so i'll 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 probably uh, not go into depth of that one because you have a number of videos on union find algorithm so i'll not do the repetitive work okay so i was here calculate the uh yeah adjacency list parent now connect the uh, connect the edges uh, connect the vertices right for every edge see what are the vertices connect them right now just see what we have done here we now after this step we have all the connected components okay now what should we do so i've created an uh, i've created an extra map again this is probably not the most optimized solution i am showing you what i did my in in the contest right because in the first go obviously you do not come up with the most optimal solution right but again for an integer for an integer what are the list of integers so it says that for a given parent which nodes have this parent okay for a given parent how many nodes have this integer as its parent so just see what i've done here for every node i found out what is the parent of i now if that map contains it if, if it doesn't contain it add a uh, array list okay and then for that parent add the current node so comps dot get parent of i dot add i so in short it is doing that for for a parent p i will have a list of nodes which have parent p why because these all are connected now i have to check whether it is complete or not so that is the last step answer equals to zero I check for every parent I call this function is complete I pass the list if it is complete I increment my answer now what is is complete function doing let's go there 
it is very simple since the number of nodes is less what i have to i receive the list okay i receive the list and i apply a n square solution that means suppose this is my list okay uh, this is my list so i pick this node and i check that is this node having edges with all the other nodes so just see i equals to 0 i less than n j starts from i plus 1 j less than n so if adjacency list dot get nodes of i if vertex of i is directly connected with vertex 2 right then we are good otherwise if it is not connected just see the and uh, not operation return false else, else finally return to in short i am just checking for every node that is it connected to every other node which i have in this list or not okay and then finally i return true or false and if i get true i increment my answer because that is a complete connected node right so yeah that's it for this solution i i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel also in case you have any queries related to this solution uh, let me know in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye